One of the main concerns of motorcyclists and loved ones of motorcyclists is safety. And today we're going to be talking about something that you can do to lower the risk of a motorcycle accident. Let's talk about it. Hey everyone, my name is Ty and welcome back to the channel. So what we're going to be doing today, we are going to be doing an unboxing, an installation and review of the brake free helmet brake light. So brake free has not sponsored this video in any way. I purchased this with my own money. So I'm under no obligation to do a good review or a bad review. I'm just going to be providing my honest feedback. So, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Uh, we've got a quick start guide, so we'll take a look at that. We'll read through those instructions. And then uh, here's the device that goes on the back of the helmet. I think there's supposed to be a, a helmet mount as well in here. We're so red. Okay, here we go. So this is, uh, this is pretty much it as far as the unboxing goes. So we've got the brake free device here, charging cable and uh, the, the mounting hardware that attaches to the, to the back of the helmet. All right, at this point, I've got the brake free attached to the back of the helmet. The instructions were really easy. It's pretty much exactly what you guys saw. You peel it off, you stick it to the back of the helmet and there you go. I did add some double-sided Velcro just as added security to make sure it stays on the helmet. The, instruction, the instructions uh, for the brake free were super helpful, really easy. Their quick start guide kind of explains it all. But look at these, before we take this out on the bike, look at these lights, y'all. So you just tap this once and it should come on and it's got a couple of different modes. So I believe that puts it in mode one where those two lights are solid. Another tap on there, uh, the two lights come on on the side and then one more and they flash just really neat i mean really grabs your attention i mean i would probably keep this right here so one of the things i'm going to do at this point i'm going to charge this device it's uh, nine or ten o'clock right now so tomorrow after a full charge what we'll do is we'll get this out on the bike and we'll give it a test run and see what we think see if it works as well as everyone says it does and also here's a shot of the brake free device as i'm cruising down the road here and while we're doing that you guys ever watch the tv show shark tank i'm sure most of you probably have at some point well these guys originally got their i guess their their breakout their big breakout from the tv show shark tank Hopefully they've sold a lot of these millions and millions of dollars worth and I wish them all the success But we're gonna get in here and take a look at some of the stops that I made along this ride today So as I'm going down the road here, let's do a hard braking test just to see how the light behaves All right should be coming up on my slowdown soon Okay, there we go that looks pretty good. Yeah, we got uh, pretty good illumination there on that light. I thought that one looked good. Now on this one, I should be rolling up at a stop sign any minute. There's the slow down illumination again, illuminated. And yeah, at least we got uh, two quick illuminations on that as I come to a complete stop. But it looked like that was about it on that one. So if you're anything like me, when you first saw this device, one of the first things I was thinking is, well, what in the world do I plug it into so it knows that I'm braking? And the answer is, you don't have to plug into anything. Uh, the brake free device has sensors and it uses all these sensors and algor algorithms to determine when and how you're braking and when should the device illuminate. So you don't have to splice any wires, you don't have to plug it into anything. You simply attach it to your helmet, make sure it has a full charge, and then you can go all day on this thing. Two to three hours of charge time can get you anywhere from eight to 12 hours of ride time with this. And then of course that eight to 12 hours is gonna depend on 
um, how much braking are you doing, what type of setting do you have the device on, and that type of thing. But all in all, a little bit of charge time and a long time to use the device. All right, another stop sign here. Should be slowing down. There it illuminated, lit up for a pretty good amount of time. What I'm not seeing is a lot of illumination as you're really slowing down to the stop sign though. Now my thought process here is to take the motorcycle out into a busy intersection so we can see how brake free does. And here as I'm slowing down at this stop sign with this car in front of me, I didn't see illuminate at all. So um, maybe we'll see what happens at the next stoplight. Okay, here, so I'll be stopping at a stoplight with a car behind me again. Okay, we saw a quick illumination there. That was much better. At least the, the device responded and did something on that one. And one quick final road test as I go down here and take a right turn. So I should be slowing down here any minute to turn right. Okay, it looks like it's, uh, looks like it's lighting up really well there on that turn. That one looks good. So what are my final thoughts here? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, any extra lighting is better than no extra lighting. So that's what it's got going for it. I do wish that it worked a little better than it did and maintained that bright illumination more consistently. I know that I'm gonna keep working with it and keep testing it out. I'm curious what you guys think. So in the comments below, let me know if you think this is just a piece of junk or if there is some benefit from it. Hey guys, listen, thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate it so very much. I hope you have an excellent day and we'll talk again soon.